So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you very much for watching. Um, please watch to the end because you're going to see some stunning imagery and stunning shots from uh, quite a lot of people that uh, have got involved in this project um, of the moon phase. And this moon phase was uh, started eight days ago. So I've been going out every single night, shooting every single night. I missed one night because it was a it was a really filthy, cloudy night, which was not very good. So one night out of eight is not bad at all. So we got seven very good images. A lot of people have, like I said, have been following me on this and doing it themselves and have allowed me to show their images. And uh, there will be names to those images, of course, to credit them. They're all different, they're all very good. Anyway, we're gonna jump right in, okay guys? <laughs> Good evening everyone and welcome to IR Photo Tours. Um, as you can see, a large moon arising. This is the final sequence in my little video and little vlogs that we've been doing for the last eight days. And this is the final, final video. So there it is, arising, arising up from the horizon and this is the pink supermoon and uh, yeah, looking great. So we've just got to make sure that it goes up a little further before we can start taking photos. Now, right, just setting up. Oh, oh, Dave on the phone. Hello, Dave. How are you getting on? Yeah, not bad. How's it, how's it going? Love your moonshot the other night, bud. Absolutely awesome. How did you get that? Settings that you gave me. Um, what were they? ISO 100, mm -hmm. 1200 mil, which is made up of a 600 with a two times. Is um, that the 600 mil uh, F4? Yeah, Mark III. Yeah. The, the light one. Nice. Um, two times Mark III as well. Yeah, lovely. Um, 60th of a second. Yeah. F8. Lovely. And uh, yeah, cable release. And on yeah. on the 5D Mark IV, yeah? 5D Mark IV, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice, nice setup. That that. Very nice setup. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo! How are you getting on? Yeah, mate, you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, have you yeah. seen the size of that moon? Is there a picture? Not yet, no. I took mine earlier. Really? That was really high, well, it was really low, really big, and there was all pink clouds underneath, and I was getting reflections bouncing on the, on, the, on the actual on the actual map on the moon itself, Ian. So not only is it not only is a pink moon, it's a super moon. Yeah, I didn't know that's a super moon. I think you only get about three a year, don't you, super moon? Before, but when it's cold and it's really nice and crisp in the air, then that's when that's when you're going to get your sharpest shots not right at the start because right at the start you're getting all the crap in the atmosphere that is uh, generated and you'll get a soft image i must mention that actually to the youtubers guys you must click on to norfolk photographers if you want to see a lot of really nice images and uh, yeah yeah i could see that it was absolutely stunning that shot absolutely stunning and the way you edited it as well you just added added a whole bunch more to it which which to be fair that that has to be one of the best moonshots i have seen period thank you very much you're very welcome bud that was well, well done i'm not you know i'm not a uh... I haven't done this before. That's the first one I've done, or the second one I've done. Yeah. But I wouldn't generally have done it, but I sort of listened to what the settings you gave me, and uh, 
and I went for it and give it a go. So I'm going to try it again tonight and see what I get with a full moon. Well, I look forward to that then. Whoa, who's this? Ah, hello, Dave. Oh, I'm all right, how are you? Oh, oh lovely, I'll put you on loudspeaker. So this is Dave Ang, good, not Dave, um, oh, Dave, the other Dave. <laughs> Dave Blake. <laughs> That'd be the one. <laughs> it's too Blakey, do you know what? Know. There's too many Daves in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and again, um, you know, we've been going through settings. I've had three phone calls tonight from three different people. One is Dave Blake, one is Richard Goldsmith, and one is you, which is great. Let's get back to your uh, yes. moonshot. Um, have you done it tonight? Oh, I have, yes. I've just, I've just downloaded them onto the uh, Mac as, as we speak. Wonderful. So posting, posting one up shortly. Wonderful. And um, so, what what uh, camera do you have, and what uh, lens do you have for for the for this uh, shoot? I have, uh, which I purchased, um last year, the Canon 5DSR. Oh yes. A 50 plus megapixel camera. Yeah, 50.1. Yep, but it also gives me the opportunity to pick uh, what crop sensors I can have it full frame, 1.3 or 1.6. So yeah. for the moon shots, I choose the 1.6 because it gives me that extra reach. Yes, um, but it does. Really, it it yep. does. Uh, just for those that know about that, um, I did have the 5DS uh, 50 point, which is the same megapixels, 50.1. Point one uh, megapixel sensor, um, but when you crop, you do lose. Obviously, you, you do. do lose megapixels. Yes, because you are using a smaller proportion of the sensor itself. Yes, correct. So, but it doesn't really affect the quality. Actually, it doesn't. No. Looking at your no. shots, it doesn't. No, you're right. No. It's a very good but, combo. You know, the, that one point six does get me to reach. The lens I'm using is a. 100 to 400 Mark One with a Canon two times extender. So at its maximum reach, I've got the full 1200 mils. Okay, and that uh, what's the extender? What mark is that? That will be the Mark Two. Wow! So you got the you got the Mark One 100 to 400 yes. and the Mark Two um, extender two times. Yes. And you're getting that image. I'm getting that image. Wow, and it's all that's all pretty impressive. Focus. With the lenses we've got and the combos we've got, I think we ought to do some deep space stuff. Uh, Not without, yeah, without a doubt. Which, yeah, which it'd be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. let's keep in touch, guys, because yeah, count yeah. me in. Yeah, yeah, definitely, brilliant. <laughs> well done, Dave. Thanks, Lovely. Sir. Thanks, thanks a lot, Ian. All right, Dave. Well, thank you very Speak much. To you for, soon. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got the shots and we're back in the office, look. Um, we are going to start editing in Lightroom. So this is the first phase and I'm gonna let you um, talk about it as we go along, okay? So this is the first phase and we jump straight into Lightroom and here we go. So here we are, um, we've got all the images highlighted here and the way to do that, I'll just come off that. So the way to do that is find your moon shots, which no doubt they'll be they'll be all close together, so it won't be that one, that was the last vlog I've done. So from here, so the, the, this, this is the, uh, the, the very first moon shot that I took, um, that was eight days ago. So from there, every other shot will be the moon shot. Okay, so you click on um, your first moon shot here, and from there you go to uh, the arrow up, I can't think what you call that, is that shift? And then click on your last image and then basically you've highlighted them all and now just remember you're in library and you put import so you've you're in import area and there you are you've highlighted them all okay what you do now is you go to develop and what you do is you flag your images up that every single night's photography you've done you pick the best moonshot that you've got out of that series, which I've got here. So I flagged this one up. So that was my first night, flagged this one up, second night, 
flag this one up third night, flag this one up fourth night, and flag this one up fifth, and then sixth, and then seventh, okay, which would be full moon, which was last night on the 7th of April. So what I've done, as you can see, I've done a square crop, and I've done a square crop on all of them. And the reason I've done a square crop on all of them is because when it comes to the end result that I've got in my head, I want to be able to put all these moons around the main moon in the middle. And that will give me the best, um, the best image that I can get. So it'll all be, all of it will be a nice square crop, cropped image. So anyway, we've done square crop. So there's your square crop. We've, just to give you an idea, that's how much I've cropped it in, okay? So now I've done a nice square crop, and to get that square crop, you go onto here, and you go 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one is your square crop, okay? And then you can click, double click with your left mouse button, and it'll click onto it. The exposure, I've actually added one, one times on it, because I must admit, I messed up a little bit on the exposure um, when I was out there on this particular photo. <laughs> Um, but anyway, here we go. So uh, exposure up to one times, one stop um, exposure on that. Um, the contrast is up to 36. Now this, this is all dependent on your image and how you've took the shot in the first place. So don't go literally by this. Um, I can tell you though, if we go to here, you can see that the ISO was 100. It was shot at 800 millimeters. Well, that's not true. Um, it's actually shot, you're bearing in mind, you've got crop sensor, uh, one six crop sensor. That's actually 1240 millimeters, um, uh, effectively. And it's a F11 and I've shot that at one twenty fifth of a second. Okay, so that's that. Um, so, sorry, that's gone back to that image. Um, no, that was one two hundredth of a second. F11 at 1240mm ISO 100. The, the Kelvin is around about 4000, so it's quite a cold look, which the moon is, so you want to keep it there. Uh, exposure is plus one, contrast is plus 36. I've left the highlights where they are, I've left the shadows where they are. Don't need any shadows up or down, there's no need for that. There's plenty of um, it's quite a flat um, subject anyway, you don't want any shadows pumped. You don't, you don't want the shadows taken out of it is what I'm trying to say. The white has been taken up to 48, the black's down to 52. That is to save me messing about with the highlights. The highlights, if you look at that, if you go with the highlights you can see how dramatic that is. So with, with the moon, you really ought to be playing about with the whites and the blacks, not the highlights, okay, all the shadows. So, texture. Texture is a good one, because what texture does, if you put it back to normal, there you go, look how flat that is. Now, you put texture up to about 50, and that really pumps that moon up and gives it plenty of detail. Um, the clarity is very much similar to that as well. Just a touch of clarity, about 30% of clarity, and also around about 30% of um, uh, dehaze as well. So if you look at dehaze and then put it up, what dehaze tends to do, it's similar to contrast, um, and it will pump up the contrast a little bit without actually brightening any areas up. So it, it's actually quite selective with its, um, with its contrast. See, if you put the contrast up, the, the bright areas get blown out. So you've got to be a little bit careful with contrast. Um, although it's great, it's, <laughs> be careful where you use it when it comes to astrophotography. And what you do is because all the images, that's unselected itself, bear with me. Um, so what you do is go to File, no, edit, 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 always do that. Select flag photos, so you've selected, the, and then you come down to here. Now they're all selected, 
all seven images are selected. You come down to sync, and what you don't want to do is uh, touch the crop. So take the crop off because they're, they're probably all cropped in different areas. And what will happen is I noticed that the moons move everywhere in, in that square crop. Um, so you don't want that. So leave, leave the crop undone and then just literally just synchronize, okay? And click synchronize and then all of that will be done. Um, so now we've done that, what we've got to do is right click on our mouse and that will bring this box up. And what you do is go down to export, go to export, and you want to go onto desktop. Nice and easy to find. It's so easy. And go to easy, export, leave your name off it. Don't put your, your name on it yet. Um, if you've got your, you know, your insignia, don't put it down there yet. Um, so leave that off. So now, as you can see up here, it's exporting seven files. So that's all seven moons. Okay, so Lightroom's closed. And now what we've got, oh, we get better move that file. Now we've, what we've got is one, two, three, four, five, six, six moons, right? So now we've hi highlight them. So you left click your mouse button, highlight them all like that. So they're all blue. Right click and open with Adobe Photoshop 2020. We're in Photoshop now, by the way, guys, we're in Photoshop and we got our first moon up so all our moons are up here they're not layers right so now we're um that's our first moon and it's in sequence of course so we got first second third fourth fifth and full moon now bear in mind look some people might think oh it's full moon tonight but it's not there's shadowing down here so it's just off a of full moon and that is full moon. So we've got all of them in line up the top there. Uh, we want to open up another file, and this is going to be our blank background page, okay, that we're going to put all of those moons onto and create that image. So we want to put new, and once we've got new, we want to find a square, well, to be fair, we want to do um, a custom page because what we really want is something quite large and the dpi resolution want to be 300 you want to keep it all very high resolution and um, very very big as well so example so you want 4000 width and then 4000 wide or 40,000 should i say not 4000 40 right and create so that will create a massive poster size like image there. So what we've got to do is select our full moon. Now to do the image like that behind us, we've got to select the full moon first. And now the full moon selected, what we do is go to quick selection tool and we'll highlight that moon, okay, like so. And then we'll go up to edit, we'll go to copy, and then we'll go over to the full page which is zoomed right in and um, then we'll go up to edit again and then paste and that's pasted that image on there okay so as you can see there's quite a nice lot of room around the image I haven't zoomed that right in there's a reason for that because I didn't want to last night because I've got to fit all these moons around this image so bear that in mind when you take that last shot to give yourself enough room and don't crop it too tight. Then we go back to the first image and we click on the first image and we do exactly the same. So we click the uh, quick selection tool and we put that all in and we've uh, selected that. We go up to edit, we go to copy, go back to that page and then we click on edit, paste, and that will paste the next image on top. So then we go to, this is where it gets tricky. Well, not tricky really, it just follow what I'm doing. Um, go down to edit and then free transform. And that highlights this area here. 
the outside of the image. So what you want to do now is bring that down and if you note the numbers there, okay, you bring that down to around about, I found that 500 is perfect. So bring that right down to five, 500. There you go, there you go. Right, and then we can move that across and that is literally our first image. And you'll notice I'm cropping into the main moon there. Well, that doesn't matter. So click onto a mask tool. So layer mask. So we've got the layer mask up and then we've got the white showing. And what we want to do, go to the rubber, which is that one there. And we can rub out the top layer or top part corner of that image. Okay, we go on to the second image. We do exactly the same. We come up to here to the quick selection tool, make sure it's big so we don't miss any part of the moon because actually that can happen as well and that has happened to me. And then we go uh, up to edit, copy, go onto our sheet, go up to edit, paste, go up to edit again, free transform, and bring that down to 500. Okay. And then what we do, we pull that over and we put that there. Try and sort of get it in the middle if you can. And that's that, okay? So click tick, tick that box, that's important. And then once you've done that, we go to, uh, again, go to the mask tool click on it so you've got a mask next to the image and then go to the rubber and rub out what you don't need being careful not to rub out the moon that you put on there okay so that's that and here as you can see it overlapped on the moon there and that's that and you just carry on with that method all the way around until you're happy.